Well, hello, this is the first in a series of videos that I'm doing on how to cook fish. I'm trying to keep everything really simple so it's easy for anybody to do. When people say to me, just give us a quick tip, how do you cook fish, right? And I'll say, what I really like is fish and salad. And the reason I like fish and salad is the dressing in the salad makes the fish taste wonderful. So my salad, this is one I do for my family an awful lot. It's really simple, but it's important points to it. First of all, I like a nice crunchy lettuce, which in this case is romaine, hearts of romaine. They are lovely and crunchy. So I'm just gonna make enough for two. It's a sort of, um, I'd say it's a sort of light lunch dish, really. And then I've got a few tomatoes. This is sort of winter style tomatoes, so I do quite like these little piccolo tomatoes and they tend to have a lot more sweetness than the big ones in the winter. Now what all my family loves in a salad is an avocado. So just chop those up, add that. I don't know if like my family, but I just find that if you make a salad with avocado in, the avocado just gets found and eaten first. What I love in a salad is a bit of fresh basil, not too much, just that sort of much. The thing about basil is, um, it can't really cook with it. Whenever I see recipes that have basil cooked, I just think, why bother? I mean, it's such an ephemeral fragrance in a, basil, in a basil leaf. It has to be raw. Now then, if you can get one of these, a really good idea for making your dressing. And my dressing recipe is always the same. It doesn't matter what oil I'm using. In this case, I'm using extra virgin olive oil. It's four to one, so in other words, in this case, four tablespoons of oil to one tablespoon of vinegar. The vinegar I like to use, which you, you get in sort of like posh supermarkets, bigger supermarkets, is called muscatel vinegar. The thing I like about it is it's a bit sweet. Now salt needs to be, a, a, for this amount of dressing, a quarter of a teaspoon. And there's no mustard or anything in this dressing, but the great thing is that. I forgot one thing. You do need to season your tomatoes before you put them into the salad because they taste so much better. So in goes the dressing. That is about the right amount of dressing. And then I'm gonna turn it over. And when you're making salads like this, do remember, don't add the dressing to the last minute because ultimately all the leaves will go limp and not taste very nice. Have to taste it. Lovely. Basil just makes it. And now for the fish. So I'm gonna cut these into two pieces each fillet. And this is for two people. And as I said, it, it's just a nice little lunch dish. Right, that's full heat. And that's a moderate heat. When you fry fish, it's much better to use a moderate heat. If you use a high heat, you tend to burn whatever you're coating the fish in right before you've cooked the fish in, particularly if it's a big fillet of fish. Now I'm just gonna season all these now with a bit of salt, like that a little bit of pepper. Um, I don't bother to season the, the, the actual coating medium, which in this case is semolina. And semolina is just a flour ground into much bigger grains than for flour, so that you, you do get quite a nice crisp coating on this. So just, just gonna pass all these through the, the semolina. And I'm gonna fry an extra virgin olive oil. It's a waste of time if you're doing sort of like a hard frying using extra virgin, you just lose all the flavor. But when you're cooking things a bit more gently like this, you can taste it in the fish. A lot of people don't like about fish is bones. And the great thing about flatfish like lemon sole is there's no bones in the fillet. I do think lemon sole, I mean, it's actually quite expensive. It's nothing like as expensive as Dover sole but I still think it's a bit sort of underrated because I just love the flavour of lemon salt. I'm going to leave it about a minute on one side then turn it over, do a minute on the other. That's perfect. Now that's just about done. Definitely take it off the heat now. I don't want it to cook anymore. And now I'm just going to get my salad. Pile it up a little bit. I love these plates. Not sure where they came from. Sass, where are they from? Italy. Italy. So there you have it, my first dish, fish with salad, and the recipe is below.